Rachel Cisneros has been losing sleep on an old, outdated mattress for three years. So she called Dan's Holloway to see if he could donate a new one to her. It was, it, he sounded he sound really nice, and you know, and he asked me, you know, why did I need a bed in that? And I was like, because my other ones, um, they're no good. <laughs> He's like, okay, and he said, okay, I can deliver you one tomorrow. And I was like, oh my God, are you serious? Yeah. You know, I was all excited because I didn't think it was going to be that quick. She never heard of Dan's Holloway before, but her conversation went very well when she called. Well, I needed help. I, well, the bed I had, it was really, really super bad. And we're both elderly women, and we just couldn't be on it anymore. And my friend had came over, and she was like, I was like, oh, my back is killing me. And she's like, why? And I said, because the mattresses. And she said, oh, you know what? I just was on the Internet, and um, this guy... She goes, I called him and they delivered me some mattresses the next day. I said, nah, uh She said, yeah, here's the number. Call him. After their conversation, she got excited to know that she would soon be getting a new mattress. Shit, I am so happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. I even switched my room around. <laughs> yeah. But it's more than just the mattress for Rachel. Things have been rough for her recently before moving into her new apartment. It was like the lady had like a um, motel place underneath us and everything. And these young kids lived down there and there was a shooting in the building. They almost shot through my house. And, and um, when they were shooting, they knocked off the, the hot water heater and all that. So we didn't have hot water for, for four months. We didn't have heat for four months. And finally, she brings us a little heater, two little heaters, and one of them didn't work. Ooh. You know? Yeah. And she didn't care that we were boiling our water from the stove to, to you know, to take a bath. Yeah. She didn't care, you know? So then Section 8 moved us out of there and helped us get this place. And she has one thing to say to Dan. Thank you so much, Dan. I love you. I don't know you, but you are my heart.